gonna be a couple videos, but this first one you're watching right now, we're gonna cover all of the third party press conferences. Yes. Uh, that includes Bethesda, Ubisoft, EA, and Square Enix. So let's uh start with hop Be into it. Bethesda. Bethesda. Okay. What we know already is that Fallout seventy six is a yeah. thing. Is it going to be a new engine? That's like they're, they're. I don't think they've gotten into that. Okay. Uh, what it strikes me as is like an expansion on, like a blending of Fallout Shelter and Fallout 4's build mechanics. Yeah. I imagine it's gonna be like fallout 4's engine or it's gonna look a lot like fallout 4 Which but it it's kind of look like but yeah. it's gonna have uh the it's gonna basically know. be fallout yeah because the way they've described it is it's just you're you're managing a community and you're yes. rebuilding that's the, yeah i yeah. think that combat's gonna be an afterthought maybe you set up turrets but like there's not it's not gonna be a first person shooter and then my understanding is that you are going to get attacked by other people maybe yeah. okay probably but i think it's gonna be more about people and resource management and then okay. actually like building the structures yeah i wonder kind of what's the end goal there probably play it forever you're perfect played, you're played a uh, fallout shelter it's kind of just a mobile game uh yes I, I played a little bit of it but i know it got pretty difficult i think that's why i stopped playing yeah. i'm like yeah this got kind yeah of crazy, i like it when so. it's simple and then once yeah. it gets crazy and not interesting okay that's that's what I think Fallout seventy six is, which I think will be a disappointment to a lot of people. A lot of people probably just want. And they probably just want yeah, like a just a classic yeah. Fallout game. But Fallout four just came out. What I think is going mm -hmm. to happen though, uh, we're already going into the what we hope happens, but that's okay. I can almost God, I can feel it in my bones. We're gonna get Fallout three or Fallout New Vegas on the Switch. Mm. Maybe even on everything, because they did it with Skyrim. Skyrim was re-released everywhere. It was. Uh, and and uh, Fallout 3 came out in 2008. It's 10 years. It's a 10-year anniversary. Yeah. What are they going to do? It's smart. Yeah. yeah. Like, put Fallout 3 on the Switch. I'll play it. Yeah, for sure. Everyone. I mean, will. yeah. Yeah. It's a great RPG. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's my prediction for yeah. the Bethesda show. We also know that uh, Rage, Rage 2 exists. That's going to be more interesting to me. I couldn't get into the first Rage one. I think a lot of people couldn't. It just kind of seemed bland to me. I don't know. It came out in a weird time. I feel okay. like there was a lot of similar games. Like Borderlands 1 came out in the same time as Rage 1. Yeah. And I don't... <laughs> some other bullshit. But I don't even know why I didn't like it. Because I feel like I would like that type of game. But maybe it was because there was superior games that it was just kind of cast aside i think yeah i never played it but i okay. remember like reading the the impressions on it and it seemed like a lot of people were like it's fine but it's nothing special and there yeah, is exactly. special stuff that's out uh, uh, yeah. elsewhere you know like so don't waste your time on this i know? think with yeah with rage 2 as far as from what i've seen is that it's definitely gonna have a bit more personality uh i mean to me it all just looks like borderlands Okay. It, it all just looks like a wasteland, and this one has neon Sorry. colors, which yeah. Borderlands Two kind of did. Yeah, it's fine. I, I'm okay. not. I'm not interested. I'm not interested at all. Yeah. Like okay. I, I have Mad Max, which I keep hearing is incredible, and I've played like an hour have, or two. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I'll play that. You know. I mean. Okay. If if I'm ever in the mood to play something like Rage Two, it'll I'll probably just pick up Mad. Probably. Yeah. But, that's yeah. probably the thing is that like for Rage Two, I don't know if I'd buy it. I'd probably be interested in like what when it comes out as far as what other people say mm -hmm. about it. I'm not going to necessarily like discard it, but I think I reminded myself just now though that the team making Rage Two is the Mad Max team because I've heard that in other conversations. So like this yeah. is kind of their next step. So yeah, huh. yeah. interesting. Yeah, I I would like some Evil Within Two DLC or like a little mini okay. spinoff or something. I don't see that happening. Um, Wolfenstein 2 is about to come out on Switch. I don't think that's going to do very well. Um, what I what I think their big their big surprise, if they have any, I think they're going to end the show with a teaser for Doom 2. Okay. I think that's how they end the show. That would actually be pretty smart. Yeah. You know, comes out what holiday Maybe. 2019. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's how you end the show. It's Doom 2. I'm really sad though. I want a new Elder Scrolls so bad. Everybody wants a new Elder Scrolls. This, this thing, like people have been asking them, where is the new Elder Scrolls? And they're like, Elder Scrolls Online is your new Elder Scrolls. The problem is that, and they just keep releasing it. And my fault 
fucking two, but like I bought Skyrim on the Switch. It's just that like they have this cash cow. I mean that's a and, that's a good thing. Like if you want more Elder Scrolls, buy that game to, to let them know that you want more Elder Scrolls. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, but I just wish that you know they would start putting some more resources into it because I mean there is so much more lore and especially like people haven't never really played to maybe the original like they probably started at either skyrim or oblivion like for me it was oblivion yeah. so i had a friend convince me to install morrowind on my pc Ooh. and then my graphics card melted yeah that sounds about right yeah yeah it was an old game even then <laughs> but uh no you know i think it's just as likely as my mm -hmm. doom 2 prediction that yeah. we see the next elder scrolls teased yeah, just I, a I don't huge teaser, that's... and it's like, we're just going to milk this for two years or something. Sure. Two, three years, so. Because Skyrim was a fuck. It, it, they just sold, like, gangbusters on every platform. Everything. Again, you know? Yeah. They just resold that game. And so they'd it's be like, stupid It's to like, know. yes, you've played Skyrim, but have you played it portable? Have you or played it have VR? you played it VR? No. Yeah. So buy it again at $60. <laughs> yeah. Give but us that, your money. That's the weird thing about... <laughs> I feel like Bethesda is kind of bold and brave because they're like, screw it, like uh, Doom and Wolfenstein. Any other publisher would be like, we're not going to waste resources porting this to the Switch, mm -hmm. and we're not going to waste resources making a VR version of this. Yeah, like those markets are too small or untested or mm -hmm. yada yada. And Bethesda's like, no, all in. Let's just check it. Let's yeah. try. Uh, and Skyrim VR is basically what I want for everything every like single player game that i like that i enjoy i want to be able to have the option of the vr version have you played it uh no but i've watched lots of reviews and like yeah. it's 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 skyrim it's not like its own little mini game it's, yeah, yeah it's full-blown skyrim to me that seems crazy it. it's like it is crazy right at first uh, i'm thinking why haven't i bought this yet yeah <laughs> it is 60 dollars, but imagine being in, in that it. world you have the headset on and you're just looking around and you see like a dragon flying around you like yeah man like taking I guess, a knee yeah. in that world and like getting really close to everything like <laughs> that's so cool it changes everything it does uh playing resident evil 7 regular yeah like obviously it looks better and like it's really neat but like when you put on the headset and you're in those rooms that's creepy. it's yeah. so creepy and yeah. like the clutter that's on the floor in the corners of the room you can get super close to it and it you're appreciating it so much more than you would regularly yeah nice. that's all we know about with bethesda anything yeah. else you like any hopes or dreams for you no, no. Elder, scrolls elder scrolls would be nice just like a little teaser for that but that's it so yeah i mean like, i'm in a weird position with bethesda where i'm not a fan of their games mm -hmm. like not that i dislike them but i'm not a fan right so fallout means very little to me mm -hmm. skyrim or oblivion not oblivion elder scrolls elder, elder scrolls. scrolls means right. literally nothing to me yeah uh evil within is probably the only game the only franchise that i care about at all but okay. it's, even then it's still pretty yeah tepid yeah so, but they have nothing to lose like yeah. they could always interest me and i'm happy when other they people always, are happy yeah and they always have kind of some surprises there so. They have a good show every year, in spite of me not having interest in their games. <laughs> right. You know, like it's one of the less cringe-worthy shows. Oh, like you yeah. don't hear anything too bad about no, them. Like, no, they have a they, good understanding of their audience. They do. Good. Yeah. So, all right, let's move on. Speaking to, of cringe-worthy, <laughs> yeah, Ubisoft, just dance. Lord. Just dance. Just I mean, dance. It's it's a seller i mean that's kind of they probably get a lot of money off of just dance mm -hmm. and so uh i'm assuming yeah. they've confirmed it right i mean it's every year there's every just year dance. Yeah. yeah just dance 2018 <laughs> just dance it's 2019 coming. it's just like those uh that's what you call music now yeah exactly yeah yeah so uh but ubisoft we know that the division 2 is real we're gonna be diving into that i assume yes i'm actually i'm interested did in you division play two. division I can't. So I haven't. I okay. haven't played it at all. But I kind of want to pick it up now. Okay. Because they fixed everything. It got you know, really good. All the problems with it, it are really gone. Good. Yeah. Uh, it, it sounds like it's what Destiny should have been. Okay. I I assume. Uh, and it's uh, hopefully they, unlike Bungie, they 
brought all that knowledge and all those problems that they fixed and mm-hmm. carried it into the sequel instead of just making all new problems. Uh, well, yeah. And someone made a good point is that like Ubisoft does really good with like sequels and things like that. So I yeah, mean, Watch Dogs Two was yeah. excellent. Yeah. yeah. So um, I have high hopes. Uh, I played a lot of Division. I think I did mm-hmm. actually some of the ga- in-game stuff too. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty cool because it had a couple modes where some people would be hostile, right? So you'd be in this open world, and if if you killed someone, then people would be alerted by you. And then there would be a bounty on your head and things like that. Yeah. So it became this very kind of intimidating thing because if you died, you would lose like some really good gear or something too. So it kind of reminded me of Diablo 2 where it had like a hardcore mode where if you died, like you lost your character. Yeah. But with this one, if you died, you lost some like really good, you mm-hmm. know, gear mm-hmm. and stuff. So, um, so that's kind of when they like uh, premiered like the concept trailer for the first division remember yeah. it was like gorgeous New York City yeah. then like some people swarm on them and they start firing back yeah. and then you see their like usernames yeah. and stuff Yeah. then there's like a drone or a helicopter that sure. somebody else was playing with an iPad yeah. or something <laughs> I don't know but yeah is that kind of what that yeah, mode exactly. ended up being yeah okay. it was really cool because you because I used to play with a couple of people so we would roll like three or four deep and then you'd see their squad Mm-hmm. And then it's kind of like, you know, like Day Z, where it was kind of like, are you friend or You're foe? All at odds. Yeah. Exactly. There's a little bit of They're tension never friends. there. Exactly. They're, never They're friends. only friends until they need you, right? And, or, and then yeah. and then as soon as, you know, you're disposed of, they'll come back and kill you. So, it's cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for Division 2. I think it, it, it should be really... Um, yeah, me too, surprisingly. Should be awesome. Yeah, I'm but looking forward to it. The graphics are gorgeous, too, for those type of games. Really? Beautiful. Did you play on PC or no, Xbox? Uh, Xbox, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay. Tell me about this game. What's it's going on? A, it's a sequel to Origins. Mm, direct sequel? Yeah, direct oh. sequel. Wow. So, um, yeah, and so it's taking place, I guess, in ancient Greece. Literally, all we know about it so far is that there's a Greek helmet on the cover, or whatever it is, the mm. Odyssey. Yeah. And then you threw some guy down. There was like a four second gif. That strikes me as like, this leaked unintentionally, and Ubisoft was like, how do we handle this gracefully? Yeah. And they're like, chop three seconds out of our oh footage my God, yeah. and make a gif, make a tweet. Yeah. Just make a tweet out of three that's seconds. That's it, and yeah. throw it out there. And it worked. I think that that's a classy way to address, it, it, okay, this is real. Here. It hyped it up for sure. I think people are going to be excited. I don't know if I necessarily am just because. You still have a hundred percented origin. Well, yeah, and then yeah. the fact that you know I like when they actually take time with their Assassin's Creeds and you know maybe not make a yearly installment. Because it doesn't matter how good it is, we just had one. Exactly. Know? Yeah. Even, and I would say even if you had like a new Mario every year, I think that at some point, like the the special like feeling that you get from beating it, absolutely, it's kind of taken away. The special feeling of playing it yeah. it's, it just it just it's like it ruins the event yeah, of for it. sure yeah like i wouldn't want mario odyssey 2 next year no because yeah. at that point then you're like thinking about it like well you know i just beat the other one like that's cool but i mean what i will take is mario odyssey dlc but we'll get to that yeah. in the nintendo video for sure yeah absolutely but yeah. anything else you want to say about assassin's creed no no all right uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2, we don't know for sure that it's going to be there, but it's pretty damn likely. Yeah. The only reason I question it at all is that the last time I heard them talk about this game, they're like, we want to make this game with you. So we're going to have like open forums That's a where, bad idea. where you tell us what, what a you terrible, want. terrible, terrible thing that you've And it's done. like, yeah, you don't have a vision? You don't yeah. have an idea of what this game is? You're just calling it Beyond Good and Evil 2 and then figuring it out as you go? Like that is terrible news. I don't. I don't. Hear I that. don't know if it. At this point, what would be the release date? <sighs> it's next gen. Yeah. Yeah, like at least two years. Wasn't it supposed to be this gen though? Like before it was next gen, which was supposed to be this gen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No, Are they, people even no... excited for it at this point? Nobody has their hands. They were excited at the announcement. They yeah. were excited at the idea of a sequel, but it's a prequel with monkey 
fu with animal fusions, which I don't think were in the original. There was no fusion of animals and people. I don't remember that. Did I know of? I might be terrible. I wrong, never played I don't think it though, so. so. No, there is. There is. Okay, I'm wrong about that. For okay. sure wrong about that. Your house has like a bunch of kids that are orphaned that are part animal. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, though, like, the gritty look of it, the realistic look of it is weird. It doesn't feel like it's the same thing, and you're mm -hmm. like, it's a prequel. Yeah. Why, why are you calling it 2? I hate when they do that. That's a nitpick, but whatever. Anyways, Beyond Good and Evil 2, I expect to see it. I don't expect to see anything super impressive, though. Maybe yeah. just another pre-rendered thing. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, one thing that I am hotly anticipated, because Metal Gear's dead... It's time for Sam Fisher to come back. Okay. And uh, I've seen... Um, God, what is his name? The voice of Sam Fisher. I don't know. He's the bald guy in Starship Troopers. He's the teacher. Oh, He's I know like, exactly Rico. what you're talking about. Yeah. It's got like those He's really heavy arm. like yeah, like robot. eyebrows and everything. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, oh, yeah. My, Ironside. Michael Ironside. Okay. Yeah. That's his name? Yeah. I know who that... I know that name. I didn't know that was the, that yeah. guy. Michael Ironside is Sam Fisher. Oh, cool. Uh, they recast him in Blacklist. Okay. Um, it's kind of funny. There's some like retconning going on of why. We're getting into some drama here, but like he had said around the time that he was recast, yeah. that he had a real problem with all the violence portrayed in Splinter Cell. You're in like five uh, Starship in. Troopers. Yeah. Like, fuck off with Splinter Cell yeah, being exactly. too violent. You crazy? But he's back. And okay. he's been like, oh, I was just a little bit sick at the time and I couldn't do it. Okay, maybe that's the case. I don't know. For sure. Uh, but you're excited. See, so, I've never beaten a Splinter Cell. So, really? Yeah. I'm a super casual Splinter Cell fan. Okay. But the ones that I have played, I really like. Okay. I beat Conviction and I beat Blacklist. So those are the two. Conviction latest. looked cool. I remember it coming out, and I think it was a free game. Like, yeah, that's I might right. Have that's it, right. It was one of those early. Yeah. Yeah. Free games like, that went yeah, free. Yeah, this game looks awesome. It had like a negotiate interrogation mm -hmm. portion. So. Had like a lot of weird stuff where like tutorial texts where like in any other game it would be like a floating thing like follow the marker yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. They had made a stylistic choice where that would just be giant text projected on the I walls saw that. around yeah, you. I saw yeah, that. Um, Conviction I liked less than Blacklist. I actually okay. really loved Blacklist. Yeah, yeah. It felt like what I wish Metal Gear had turned into. Uh, one thing is interesting. Well, this is like just total speculation, but like yeah. I, I listened to the kind of funny show and they talked about their predictions for E3. Okay. And Greg pitched this Splinter Cell reveal that like got me like, yeah. That's what I want to see because I'm I don't love Sam Fisher. I actually mm -hmm. and I especially don't think Michael Ironside is a great voice for the lead of like a stealth action game because yeah. you're just kind of big yeah. and right. slow and tired and like that, right? And it's like I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. I don't think that that like you're seeing him climb up pipes and shit. You know? <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he pitched. You know, the, the typical thing that you expect when you mm -hmm. see a Splinter Cell reveal. It's dark, people are getting taken out. You're like, yeah. what's going on? Then you see the yeah. the night vision the goggles three, turn yeah. on. But the reveal is that it's not Sam Fisher. It's either, like, a woman or some other person. It's clearly not him. Yeah. Right? And at the end, you know, the person walks into a room and you hear Michael Ironside go... You, Good job, kid. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it turns yeah, around yeah. and it's like a Batman Beyond kind yeah. of old Bruce Wayne right. mentorship. Like, that's how you bring back the old voice. I think that's cool. And pass yeah. the torch and start, exactly. a, start a new. Start new, exactly. Yeah. For sure. Splinter Cell's, like, eight games deep. Like, yeah. we don't need more adventures of Sam Fisher. Let's right. start something else. And the thing is that he's just... You know who he is, but he's not super iconic. So it's like... His goggles new, are yeah, iconic. His goggles, yeah, his goggles. Exactly. Just so you can that. transfer that. Yeah, exactly. For sure. So, so. Th that's, that's the Splinter Cell, you know, uh, sequel I want to see. Not just more Sam Fisher. I like Fisher. that. Yeah, hopefully to do something like that. So. For sure. All right, we're moving on to EA. This is the most exciting of Oh, bunch. man. Yeah. Okay, uh, what famous athlete do you think will be there? Uh, LeBron James. I'm just throwing <laughs> well, out. Well, <laughs> so LeBron James is in the NBA Finals right now. Yeah. Maybe Kobe, you, you know? You could take some time Kobe's off. look, yeah. You're making an emergency well, flight going, yeah. to EA. Yeah, I mean... They have a yeah, Cleveland's of close to there. No, yeah. Golden State is in San Francisco, so I, I called it. Yeah, if LeBron James comes, if LeBron James is there, people are gonna be mad. People are gonna be mad that he's risking losing the finals by exactly. going to stage. He could get stage fright. 
<laughs> scared. <laughs> Buckle in the knees. Oh, I don't know. Who do you think is gonna go? I don't know. It, definitely, like it's gonna be some like famous basketball player. You know, some. Do like, they always? Because I only remember Kobe forever. They do Kobe. Ago. They had like um, Ronino, I think. I don't even know like, who that is. Like the FIFA, like Brazilian player. Like they may have had athletes on there, and I just don't know their athletes. <laughs> like Conor McGregor, I think was there one time. The okay. MMA guy. Okay. So it's like any time that they're trying to showcase like their new game or something, they'll they'll have someone, you know. Yeah. But yeah. So, so. boring. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, we're gonna see for sure the regular lineup. We're gonna get some features in Madden or isn't there like a new story mode? I think yeah. I'm pretty excited on? to see as far as how they go with that. Uh, if they're going to kind of expand, I actually didn't play that story mode. I played the story mode for FIFA. Yeah. Which was super fun. I started it too. I liked it. It was cool. Yeah. Like, it actually, you know, it, it was pretty entertaining. That was like three years ago or two years yeah. ago now? Yeah. No, so that was FIFA 17, right? And then FIFA 18 did have a story mode, but I didn't know if it was still the guy, the same guy's story or not. Yeah. So, I think it, it'd probably be best to like do different stories. That's the thing is that it's I don't like understand that. why they don't kind of have more game oriented stories i guess it doesn't really make for a complete game but also that's a tall order for every year you know, you're oh, gonna run sure. out of stories yeah real quick absolutely how you got your career in a professional yeah. sports team yeah. well i like how nba 2k does it sometimes where they had one where it was just michael jordan everything mm -hmm. it was like michael jordan's greatest moments and things like that yes. so that's I the only games, yeah. basketball game that i considered buying i okay. didn't buy it yeah but it's the only one i consider <laughs> Uh, Battlefield 5, we're going to see more of that. That's a game that I'm surprised doesn't have a rushed uh, Battle Royale mode. I have like, to be, Battlefield yeah. is a Battle Royale. Yeah, it is. Just not with and the it's one last. huge last. maps and everything like that. Like, it's designed that way. You just got to change the... This I guess this it would be impossible to balance. Because, like, it's like a rush to the tank or a rush to the jet. Or it whatever, would be cool right? that way, though. Like, if... Well, Unless yeah, the tank because and the jet PUBG, just, like, they do, like, in. leave. But I wonder if, yeah, if you had, like, a respawn where you can go back and, you know. Yeah. Or or if they had, like, a supply drop where you can get, like, a plane, yeah. you know. It just makes it makes a lot of sense. Like, Battlefield should have that mode. Yeah. Like, it's just a matter of, like, don't let people respawn. <laughs> That's it. I have to be honest with you. I'm just not very interested in Battlefield. I oh, I've never been. Yeah. No. I remember... I haven't been for a while. What was, like... The first one with the frostbite engine was that three, Battlefield two, four, or three, four, no three? four was no it was three, because okay. it was three then hardline then some other bullshit then four okay and then now five or then Battlefield one yes and then five. <laughs> yeah. okay uh it's pretty yeah I played Battlefield three and I was like this looks great yeah back in the day yeah but now it's just I don't know it looks like looking through an Instagram filter right everything's just blue and weird yeah so yeah but. Not much to say about that. Yes. Nice to see a lady on the cover. Although they're getting their cake and eating it too. Do you see that the special edition yeah, you know, has a guy on it? More and, and it's have early. So like is anybody it? who cares about this game is gonna buy the one with the guy on. Perfect. So. Excellent. You asshole. That's so EA. Yeah. That's so EA. Yeah. All right. Uh, final on EA's docket is Anthem. This is the Destiny Division killer this one i'm pretty excited about i think at first i wasn't but as i read up more and more it's here's it the thing cool. here's the thing everything they've said and everything they've shown mm -hmm. sounds great mm -hmm. but you're forgetting this is the team that made yeah. mass effect andromeda this is they're making their very first destiny like which is a fucking nightmare yeah it doesn't it's not easy to do that Right. And Mass Effect has always been just a really janky kind of single player thing. I don't know how in the world they're going to make this. So I don't know. Like, it's very easy to make a gorgeous little gameplay demo like they did last yeah. year. Right. Like, and everything works perfectly. And yeah. Check out this rocket launcher. Oh, you know? Hell yeah. That all looked great. Yeah. I don't believe in them. Okay. I'm happy to be proven wrong, but I think that that game's going to be a big old lie. I think it's going to fall on its face. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, I'm kind of just reserving judgment. I'm hoping that maybe they've seen and hopefully have done their research as far as with Destiny. 
It would be so strange if, like, Bungie's just fucking up because they're actually incompetent. Yeah. And not because it's impossible to, like... Or not impossible, but very, 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 very difficult to build an MMO. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's, yeah. it's an MMO. Yeah. No matter how much they want to say it isn't. And so, I don't know. I hope Anthem's good. I but, think it's going to be yeah. a lot smaller or a lot worse than they're saying it is. You played a bunch of Destiny 1, though, right? Yeah. And not so much 2. I didn't even touch 2. I watched I Rachel, two. who played Destiny 1 until the day Destiny 2 came out. Like, really? From fucking start to end. She picked up Destiny 2, and she lasted two weeks mm -hmm. and then now she hates destiny hates it she's given it like three years of her life and it's given nothing back so just yeah just like she a just terrible boyfriend yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah. perfect so I've, I've witnessed it i don't know i'm yeah again i i'm, I'm pretty much kind of maybe on, on your your level of it where i'm reserving judgment i'm coming in with with somewhat high expectations though honestly yeah, I, I thought that they're asking for yeah, that. You know, they're right. setting they're setting themselves up to either like. I mean, this is their big one. They're putting a lot of resources behind. And this. Not to be like dramatic, but I do think that if Anthem's a failure, Bioware will be dissolved. This is like them fighting for their, you know, their livelihood. Because just, uh, just making their knights of the old republic then. Or make a good like Jade Mass Empire effect. remaster something. Or, yeah, yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah, yeah, like remaster something. That's easier and right. Yeah, I don't know. Like, and and not that Andromeda is their fault. I don't think. I I think it's because EA gives them impossible timelines and not mm -hmm. enough money. Yeah, that's probably it. All right, let's move on. Okay. All right, that's EA. Uh, Square Enix is the final third-party conference. This one might have like the most most things i'm excited about yeah yeah, yeah. got kingdom hearts 3 yeah kingdom hearts you like 3. kingdom hearts i want to i'm with you okay Same. yeah i want it to to be appealing to me it's like oh yeah it's it's awesome it has disney characters all and... the toy story stuff they've been showing yeah. is gorgeous though like, it looks incredible i kind of want to get it just to be in toy yeah. story i don't know maybe i'm crazy but i feel like they have to like sneak in a Star Wars or a Marvel thing in there. Absolutely. I feel like they have they they did if they hadn't done Tron yeah. in Kingdom Hearts 2, yeah. I would be less like inclined to think that. Yeah. But I think they have to. Absolutely. Yeah. You have those franchises for a reason. Yeah. Use them. Yeah. You know? Totally. So But uh Octopath Travel Octop Project Octopath Traveler. Oh. I don't th actually I don't know if this will be at their show. Maybe okay. just a little bit, but it, this is a Switch. This this belongs in the Direct, the Nintendo Direct. Did um, did you play the demo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You liked it? Yeah. Did, did you, you not? I wait. Who'd you play as? I don't. The guy? Maybe. Oh, I played as the I, dancer girl. I don't remember. I really liked it. I remember um, I played it, and then I got to a really hard person, and I couldn't beat him. Hmm. I don't know who it was. Maybe I just wasn't getting the. So that's interesting. I don't remember any combat in the girl's story. Okay. It was more about walking around town and, like, she's basically looking to track down her father's murderer. And she's become, like, to, she's, like, kind of, like, sneaking her way into this, like, crime uh, syndicate mm. by pretending to be a exotic dancer. Okay. So she's, like, dancing and, like, people are all yelling at her and yeah. doing all, and tipping her and all stuff. Yeah. And you can use, like, her seduction to like get past guards and stuff it was cool it was okay. really cool and for like a game that that's weird looks, i don't yeah okay yeah. yeah and there's eight characters and they all have oh, shit. crazy stories okay. yeah and like there's full voice acting and maybe i need to go back and play it yeah. maybe i just like do her story i don't yeah, know but i, I didn't do the other one okay so. okay uh but yeah. i was impressed and the game's freaking gorgeous and yeah very um mature considering it looks like a super nintendo pixel game right like it people swear there's violence mm -hmm. there's a lot, interesting yeah, very interesting. For nintendo i think it'll be probably well received i think i hope so all right uh final fantasy or the possibility of final fantasy 16 showing who up. knows we went final fantasy 15 literally we started in like 2009 as 13 versus 13 versus 13 yeah 
And so, um... That was a no-brainer to rename it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's still a little early for Final Fantasy I agree. 16. I agree. And it, get 7 Remake out before you do this. Exactly. I don't think that's coming together. I think it's... Really? We might see, like, a tiny teaser. I saw somebody broke down, like, an interview with the Square Enix guy uh, in their offices, and you can see on his monitor... This had to be intentional, but you can see the first boss. I don't know if you played 7. You played yeah, seven? yeah, of course. You know uh, when you're going to blow up... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the little boss. spider... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the, basically the new version of that was on his monitor. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. So they're, make, they're chugging along. along. Yeah. I don't know. Remember, they're like, it's going to come out in chapters. I'm like, oh, no. That really that's didn't That's bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then we never saw it again. I don't know. We need to see more. We do. I hope we that. Do. The, I hope it's there. Yeah. Uh, Square Enix, of course, owns IDOS. That means that they own Tomb Raider, so we'll be seeing more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But this game feels... Bleh. To yeah. Me. Like, I don't care. I don't think anybody else cares. Yeah. Like, people like Tomb Raider, but yeah. they don't love Tomb Raider. Remind me how the Tomb Raiders are going here. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Wait. No, nope. Tomb Raider. There's Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay, so Shadow I have not the Tomb played Rise of the Tomb Raider then. Yeah. I've only played the original yeah. reboot one, mm -hmm. where she has like where a she hasn't of risen yet. Yeah, she gets her guns. At... She gets her guns at the end. The two. The two. Oh my god! This changes everything. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So okay, and so I guess Rise of the Tumor is her with her guns, and then now Shadow of it is her full Laura cropped. Isn't like the tagline in the trailers or something that's like become a croft or something I don't know. she is a croft she's lara croft she has not become she the, hasn't become the croft. croft yes uh no not digging that okay uh oh yeah square enix is working on the avengers they you actually... have to tell me about this because up till today i did not know this was a thing that's crazy it was a big deal they made I... like a huge announcement they're like I, I cannot on... believe I didn't yeah. hear that. Yeah. yeah. Square Enix is like, we're working with Marvel Studios. And, uh, you know, I think it's actually Crystal Dynamics, which okay. makes Tomb Raider. Yeah. I think they're working on it. Um, and they said it's going to be a multiplayer game. So, so is it like that Marvel Heroes game that came out a long time ago? Like, like a mobile game? Or... No, like the isometric, like... Oh, uh, Ultimate Alliance? Yeah. I don't think they're doing that. Okay. I don't think you can get away with that game. Yeah. These days. Yeah. Although that would line up with... Uh, remember the Tomb Raider games that were isometrics? Mm -hmm. like? Yep. Yeah. The, <laughs> Those games are covers. good, though. I actually played that with, uh, with Morgan yeah. recently. Those games are super fun. Yeah, it's cool. I played it with Rachel. Um, it's not a full-fledged would... game, though. That's yeah. But I would play... a. Yeah. Avengers game like that. It'd be cool. Oh, man. Now you got me thinking. But I, the way they announced it and okay. the way they've been going about it, this sounds like a $60, like, yeah. like big, big budget game. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Is like, if you have the Avenger title and everything, not to say they couldn't make a game like that, but if you're going to, like, tease it this much, it has to be something bigger than just, like, here's a $20 game that, you know, yeah. no, this you're is... going to be entertained with. And but... also, like, this is... Whether they like it or not, this is going to be compared to Spider-Man PS4. Right. You know? Right. You need something of that caliber. For sure. And, and when they announced they're doing Spider-Man PS4, Marvel Studios basically said, we've been really behind and our eye has not been on the ball as far as representing our characters in, in video games. Mm -hmm. Like we see, we see the Arkham Asylums. We see like all the stuff that DC is doing. It's like, we want our Arkham Asylum. That's why we're he investing in the right studios to make the right projects. Isn't that crazy, though? Like, DC's the one that's come out with, like, really good shit. And, like, it's the complete opposite with, like, the movies, you know? It's about who's working on it. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Zack Snyder. Oh, uh, yeah, so, look, excited to see Avengers. I think I heard rumblings that, like, they're working on multiple Marvel things, so we might see something else Which makes also. sense. So that's that's cool. I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, there, people want, close. people are wondering if we're going to see the Marvel stuff at Microsoft's conference. Okay. Because, like, Microsoft, if if they're going to shell out for some sort of exclusive Maybe project like themselves, because okay. Sony's got the Spider-Mans. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, uh, Just Cause 4. Okay. This has been... 
basically announced. I don't know if it's officially announced or just leaked, but expect Just Cause 4 at Square Enix's conference. What is your relations to Just Cause? I played the second one. Okay. I think we played the third one. I didn't. I haven't. No? Unless... Yeah, yeah, no. You I haven't... blow up a bunch of stuff. I remember buying it. Okay. And being like, I'll get to this. I bought yeah. it, like, around the same time I got Mad Max. Okay. And then I just never came around. Uh-huh. So I just have it on my PS4. Okay. Uh... But Just Cause 2 was the first one with the gra- the attached stuff to each other. Oh, man. And, like, go nuts with that. I think we, we might have played around Maybe. with that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I just did that. I never really, really played it, like, tried to get into the story or yeah. anything. So that's really it. I, I think it's a it. fun yeah. playground. Yeah, it's yeah. super fun. It reminds me of uh, kind of like Mercenaries back on the Xbox, which I would love to see that game again. Uh, but it's a... Uh, is it... Is it still going to be Rico, though? I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's the only... That's one of the few Hispanic uh, protagonists that I know of. So I hope so. They did Hang a really on good to job it. With it. He's the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think they did a really good job with, with 3. Uh, it's super fun. And um, I think 4 four should be pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see what comes out of it. So. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's it for the third party press conferences for E3 this year. Nice. What are you guys excited for? Let us you, know. Yeah, what did you think about our predictions? Do we even have any predictions? I don't know. Uh, There's a couple uh, question marks yeah. there. So yeah. All right, we're going to be back with uh, Microsoft next and then Sony and Nintendo. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff. All right. Bye. Bye.